very much welcome. With that, we'd like to turn to another one of our dynamic leaders. We have Ms. Nze Wufo. She is the CEO of what is called the New Georgia Project, and she's working to strengthen Georgia democracy by registering many, many, well, millions of voters, it says. And so, Nze, we'd like to hear from you how you think that this is important and what you're doing to get out the vote down there. Well, first of all, uh, thank you uh, so much for inviting me. Um, it was in uh, Saubona, uh, Habari Zajani, Bonsoir, Abadie, uh, good evening. Um, now, I don't speak everyone's language, but I can get by with a greeting in about seven or eight. Um, and I, I, I tell people often um, that I am an African American with an equal emphasis on both. Uh, and so I'm so happy to be here uh, with you all this evening. Um, as Ms. Scott uh, just mentioned, I run an organization called the New Georgia Project. Um, we are based uh, headquarters here in Atlanta, but we have offices in seven cities across the state. Um, we we were launched, uh, founded by my right. friend <laughs> and colleague. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> uh, we were launched by Stacey Abrams and to date um, we have helped uh, almost half a million Georgians of color. So black, Latinx, Asian Americans and young Georgians vote, register to vote in all 159 counties. Um, and I'm very proud of that work uh, as we sort of march towards our goal of registering 1 million people. Um, and when, because we've had, um, we're best known for our large scale voter registration efforts. It has also given us an opportunity to really uh, understand and get familiar with the deficiencies in Georgia's electoral system. And while we fight in the courts um, and in the court of public opinion, I think that the number one thing that we can do to neutralize um, the voter suppression attacks that we're seeing, right? Attacks on the postal service, uh, massive purges of the voter rolls, uh, extraordinarily long lines that people have to wait in to vote. The number one thing that we can do in this particular moment is to have overwhelming participation. Um, again, you don't get to registering half a million black and brown people in a place like Georgia without doing the number one thing is asking people whether or not they're registered to vote. Um, I was being made fun of by my aunties because I was invited to join the, the auntie group chat. Um, and it's just really important um, that, you know, in the age of misinformation and disinformation, where uh, they say, you know, a lie will circle the globe twice before the truth puts its boots on, that we recognize that the folks that are on this call and the folks who are listening to this conversation recognize that we are influencers and can be trusted messengers in our communities. And so this is not a time for sort of passive participation in our elections that the, we matter, our votes matter more than anything. Um, Muthoni sort of, you know, centered us and brought us, uh, had a sobering introduction to her comments about the recent passing of Supreme Court Justice uh, Ginsburg. Um, and, you know, this is a country where we, there's the administrative branch, there's the legislative branch and there's the judicial branch. And so, you know, for those of us who remember the 2000 elections, um, the 2000 presidential election, um, ultimately it was decided not by the people, but by the courts. And so who's on the court actually matters. Um, I think that never before have Georgia voters mattered in the ways that they do in this particular election. So not only only do we have an opportunity to elect uh, a president and vice president 
who can be, uh, who can co-govern with the people to set this country back on the right track. But Georgia is in the unique position of having two United States Senate seats on the ballot. And one of those seats will be decided on January 5th, a mere 15 days before uh, the president is inaugurated. Um, and why that matters is I'm going to take you a little bit back so that we can look forward. In, Janu uh, in 2017, right after uh, our current president was inaugurated, there was a special election in Georgia's sixth congressional district in the North Atlanta suburb. So for those of you who are familiar, North Fulton, Cobb County. Um, and uh, that was the first time that many of us were introduced to John Ossoff. I think the thing that is important to point out is that that ended up being the most expensive congressional race in the history of American politics. And now uh, we will have another special election, uh, this time right before the inauguration. Um, and so one, it matters because Democrats are four seats away from gaining control of the United States Senate. And two of those seats are on the ballot in Georgia that all Georgia voters on this call have an opportunity to literally change the course of history, to right some of the wrongs that we've seen not only over the past three years and 244 days, but that we've seen over the past 400 years. Um, that if your people came last year or if they came, you know, a generation ago, that we have an important and powerful tool in our hands to not only make sure that we get out and vote and we say enough, but that we make sure that we bring our entire family with us, our born family, our chosen family, the village that you've created for yourself here. We are responsible for each other. Um, and I think that it's just really, really important um, that we uh, sort of honor that responsibility and lean into it in this moment. I think that the attacks that we're seeing, attacks on immigrant communities, attacks on women, attacks on reproductive health, attacks on democracy and the right to vote feel like they're coming back to back to back to back. Um, and I think there's a saying that it is darkest before dawn. And so I'm gonna, I offer to you that it is, you know, 5.15 in the morning right now. And so it appears to be very, very dark, but the sun will rise. We will get to November 3rd. We will get to January 5th. We will get to January 20th, and then we'll get to building back better. Uh, and so I'm so excited to do that with you all. Um, I'll just end with this, that I am clear that each of us deserves and needs to have a political home. Right. And so if you have found that with the Biden Harris campaign, um, I ask you to build a bigger we to invite people to join you to make phone calls, to give, to send out text messages. Um, I would also invite you to join the New Georgia Project. Um, you know, we are, again, uh, have registered almost half a million people of color. We're going to be making tons of phone calls, tons of text messages, registering people to vote. Um, we do it at naturalization ceremonies. We do it at churches and mosques. Um, and this is the work to build our democracy. Um, and I invite you all to join us. And thank you. Thank you, sis. Let's say I could not, I could not be more proud of you. I could not be more proud of the work that you're doing. I could not be more hopeful that we will split, uh, we will uh, earn those Senate seats in particular because of the work that you and your team are doing. I could not be more hopeful that Biden-Harris will carry Georgia, especially because of the hard work that you and the team are putting in.